Hello and welcome back. This is video number three, and we're going to talk about the missing piece. So as we discussed in the previous video that you need to do a little bit of legwork, the hard part is already done, especially if you find the right video creator. If you find either the right video creator or even relating to other private label rights like eBooks or reports or software, if you find a good product creator in general, then and you, you've gone through that, you've read their material, you watch their videos, and you're a big fan of the way they create their videos, then that is a good sign. Now, if you find the wrong video creator or somebody who just slapped together a bunch of videos that don't really understand the material and how to teach it, then that can actually be detrimental to your reputation. So you want to make sure that you choose the best of the best material before you put your reputation on it. That said, if you have found a good product creator or video course creator or report creator, and you've gone through the material yourself and you believe in it 100%, that in itself will help your mindset and that will help you sell it better. And that is often when you know you have a good product. If you have a good product, then you're ready to move forward. The problem that I see a lot of times is if you've gone through the course and you feel like it is crap and you have no passion about it, the reality is you're selling crap to your customers. The majority of us, you know, we're ethical, so we don't want to sell crap to our customers. So at the end of the day, if you know that you're selling crap to your customers, it's not really good for your mindset. And selling people something that you do not feel passionate about can and will be detrimental to your reputation. If you do not feel passionate about what you just purchased, do not sell it. Add tons of value to it to make sure that you are passionate about it and then sell it. But only when you feel passionate about it, that you wholeheartedly believe in it, that is when you should sell it. The reason why I'm bringing this up is this is a crucial process that oftentimes you skip because you skipped the product development process. If you really think about it, when you create a product, the reason why you're creating that product is you feel passionate about it, right? If you skip the product development process and you get the product, then you don't get to experience the process of creating that product. But as a private label rights buyer, you don't get to experience that unless you actually go through the process and watch the video course or consume the material. That's why I'm asking you to do this exercise because it will actually help you in the long run. Without knowing this process, the majority of people actually set their, themselves up for failure. If you've gone through the process, you're really passionate. You start to think about how this product will help your customers. And you're like, oh, wow, you know, I just learned this and that. I really think this will help the customers. I really feel passionate about selling this product to the customers. You start to think of ways to really help people. And you become more focused on helping people rather than simply getting money from them. And yes, people say what's wrong with money. And there's nothing wrong with money. I mean, we're all business people at the end of the day. But if you think about money first, then you've defeated the whole purpose. If you think about helping people first, then the money will follow. In other words, if you think about it, if you help 1,000 people and they're willing to give you $10 each, then you've made $10,000. If you think about it from the money standpoint, it's like, oh, I got to make $10,000 or I got to make $1,000 or whatever. Then what ends up happening is you forget about the person. You think, oh, they're paying my bills, right? You forget about their needs and you can't really think. There's kind of that creative block that blocks you from thinking about what kind of value you can add to the course. So that's why I'm talking about this. And because at the end of the day, it's going to impact your sales, whether you like it or not. And the only way to bypass this thought process is by consuming the product yourself, going through the thought process of, oh, I can add this, I can add that. You know, this video course is missing a checklist or this video course is missing that. So jot it down, write it down. Everything is missing something. You know, a software 
is going to be missing something. Jot it down. How do you add value to it? So from here on out, I wanted you to do an exercise. If you read something, think, what is missing? Jot it down. Get in the habit of doing that because by doing that, creating value is going to make more sense. It's going to come to you very naturally as well. So I don't want you to go through this route. I want you to succeed. And that is why I am pointing you some, to some basic fundamentals before we start the process. So that in itself is the missing piece of the puzzle on how to create value. And now you know the process, and this process is actually very easy to do. It just takes some time out of your schedule. And once you understand the process, you can begin to outsource these parts really, really easily. Let's discuss things and what you need to do in next steps in practical terms.